All right, the purpose of this lab is to learn how to georeference the BW campus map. We suppose that uh, you have this paper map, which is in lab 8 folder of the BW campus, uh, which obviously doesn't contain any coordinate information. So georeferencing simply means assigning real world coordinate to this image so that we can do measurements on this image. So in the first step, we need to scan this map and uh, all of the scan map or most of the old maps taken pre-1995, uh, they don't contain any spatial reference. We want to bring this image into ArcGIS and then uh, do measurements on this on georeference map, on this scanned map. So we need uh, some control points and control points as you know are points that their coordinates is known on the map and also on the ground. So we use our GPS points collected in the previous lab as control points to georeference this map. Launch your arc map and uh, load the scanned map. So connect to folder of lab 8. and then add the bw underscore points dot jpeg so do not go inside of it just select it and then click add so uh, once you load the map you will get a warning that uh, unknown spatial reference because this is a scanned map and it doesn't contain any spatial reference so uh, click ok and uh, let's load our GPS data as control points. So select GPS points.shp and add it. So notice our GPS points are here. If you right click on the GPS point and then zoom to layer, our GPS points are here. And uh, our map is, so right click zoom to layer is here. They are in two different locations. If you click on zoom ex full extent, they are in two different locations so let me remove it so this one is zoom to layer this one is for the points and this one is for the map but uh, both of them has to refer to our campus because uh, they have collected from the same location they're supposed to line up but they don't the question is which one is true yes gps points are true because we checked them in previous labs with base map and they line up very well with the reality and which one is false the scanned map because it doesn't contain any spatial reference and we can't do anything with uh, the data that doesn't contain any spatial reference in GIS this is the scanned map zoom to layer and it's supposed to be lined up with the GPS point uh, but what actually georeferencing does is it transfers this image to the true location so sometimes it needs to be shrinked, rotation, and then uh, transfers this map to the true location. So point number one should be transferred to the point number one of the GPS. Point number 13 should be uh, lined up with the point number 13 of the GPS. So let's uh, do the uh, georeferencing. You can go from customize menu uh, from toolbars here you can add georeferencing or simply you can you can right click on this gray space and then uh, select georeferencing so uh, the first step is that I think it's better to add the label for the points so if you right click on the GPS points properties Go to the labels tab label feature based on the point number apply and okay so our gps points have label so uh, what you should do is right click on the image zoom to layer and uh, zoom to the point number one on the image And uh, the first step is that from georeferencing toolbar, click on add control points and then select the control point number one on the image. So this point has to be 
transfer to the point number one in the GPS, right? So we have to connect this line to point number one of GPS. So if you right-click on the GPS points, zoom to layer, and then connect this to point number one. So what happened? So the image transferred to the to this location. Okay, so you can see that if you right-click on the full extent, so it's kind of line up for point number one, but for the other points. Uh, still we need to add control points make sure that when you already were collecting the GPS point you spread it out the GPS point across the image because we have highest distortion in the edges so now we have to repeat this process for point number two three four and so forth but we can't see this point number two is not really visible so uh, one thing that we can do is that we can increase the transparency of the image to easier find the corresponding points so uh, we have to right click on the image properties and then go to the display tab and here in the transparency we can increase it to something like 40 percent and then apply and okay so now you can better see the points so the next step is that first we have to find point number two on the image then click on click on that and then connect it to point number two of the GPS points right click zoom to layer connect this to point number two so you can see that they better line up so the image and the GPS better line up but we need to do this for the other points but do not do this for the point number three after because all of them are almost on the same line so it's not a good idea and your map will be distorted so you can for example uh, add point number 10 so click on the image and then connect it to the to the so this one is point number 10 right and then uh, connect it to the point number 10 of the GPS so you can see that it's getting better and better so uh, for example now you can first click on image and then connect to point number five image six so you have to repeat this process for all of the points image seven so it shouldn't be in the same line so go to for another points for example eight so you can see that better matches with reality this one so here also first on the image and then corresponding location zoom to layer 12 12 see that it's almost very low error so what else so we have to do point number four which is here first an image and then connect to the corresponding points so this blue line shows the error of your work and then Point number three. So point number seventeen. Point number eighteen. So what else? So we have to do this for these four points. Eleven. one has a very high error 
so we have added all of the 18 points right so to see the errors you have to after you added all of the control points click on view link table so uh, the error the total root mean square error for us is three meters so which is acceptable so uh, to see which points have highest error so these are the locations i think for the image and after the transformation so here you can select the transformation for example first order polynomial if there are more distortion maybe the higher order of the polynomial so let's select only a fine uh, transformation so this one are the image coordinate and based on the affine transformation it's transferred to the uh, the real world and the difference between the after transformation and the real world is a residual residual for x and residual for y and here is also the error so uh, which error is the highest which point has the highest error so this one point number 12 so this one i think so how can I see that? So this is the point that has a very high error. So you can remove it using the delete on your keyboard or you can just uncheck this point. Okay, so uncheck this point. And then this one also has uh, this one has the highest error. So let me check this point and see which one has the highest error. So this one. So you have to start from the points that have very high error so this one has the highest error 18 and then now you can see that the error dropped the total RMSC first it was 3.8 now it is 3.5 so now let's select the point that have the highest error maybe point number 13 so remember it's 3.5 and now it's 3.2 uh, meter error in the georeferencing or now if I select this one and then uncheck it so it's it's almost three meters error in the in the georeferencing now it's under three meter error the georeferencing so uh, once your once the error is in the reasonable range so less than three and a half or less than four so the next step is to we have to rectify this map so let's see the result of georeferencing so so here is the result of georeferencing which almost matches with the reality and sometimes we have very high error like this one so uh, this is because of the error in gps when collecting the data and also uh, almost under five meter and also the error is during the georeferencing so for example we didn't select the exact location so but that's acceptable when uh, in this three meters is okay let me see let me check so it's almost three or have some some points have low error some points have high error for example these two so uh, it's not a very big error so mm, or this one so you can see that they line up very well okay less than one meter but in total the RMSE is less than three meters so uh, I think that's good for georeferencing so now uh, what we can do is that we have to make this permanent so how we can do that if you right click on geo if you click on georeferencing and then rectify so here you can say that so we're gonna uh, save the results in the lab number eight okay so click back and then just select lab number eight and then click add so the result will be the output location will be on lab number eight and with the name of um, pw georef georeferencing or georef with the data type of uh, tiff is okay and then click save so click save and uh, add the BWGRF1 into ArcMap still doesn't have a spatial reference we need to define the coordinate system for it so from Arc Toolbox if you go to the data management tools under 
projection and transformation then select define projection and here so the map that uh, you the georeference map you that you just created selected as the input data set and the coordinate system is unknown but it's supposed to be UTM zone 17N right so click here projected coordinate system UTM WGS 84 northern hemisphere and on and then zone 17 north click OK and OK so it's defined a projection for it now if I uh, add the BWG or F1 so you can see that it works uh, to make sure it works so uh, if you open another arc map the blank arc map and uh, add this bwgof1.tif into this blank map you will see that so we don't get the error okay so there are no warning about the uh, no spatial reference and now you can also add the gps point and you can see that they very well line up so uh, not very well but still there are error but that's fine because our GPS has error and also the georeferencing process also has error so if you add the label for the GPS points based on the point number so you can see that so this one is 12 and this one is 12 or you can add the transparency to 30% for example apply ok and maybe this one to this value so you can see that the points that I've collected are kind of line up with the reality so that's the georeferencing so this is a georeference map in the future lab we will do some measurements on the georeference map such as digitizing the campus features